Peter's saying basically that it's inevitability that taxes are going to have to rise. Do you agree? Um, well, first of all, I completely agree about the, uh, the uh, travesty of the lockdown. It, it, was an, it economically made no sense and we probably lost more people, not only during the lockdown because of the, the uh, inability of the uh, uh, medical services and the economy to run, but now we've got um, a, a you know, ticking time bomb in, in terms of uh, longevity and lifespan. Let's actually look at the economy. The economy is a living, breathing thing. It's not a static thing. It's not. Last time I was here, I spoke about the, the, the terrible mistake this government's making by, by implementing uh, dramatic austerity. We, I, I mentioned something which I needed to define last time, which I called the paradox of thrift. All it means is if you spend less money, everyone gets poorer. And right, right now, what's going to happen if you've got a small business or a large business and your taxes have gone up and demand has gone down because we're taking money out of everyone's pockets? Everyone's going to get poorer. My worry about this government now is it's behaving to the left of Jeremy Corbyn, They've created the, 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 the trouble in this economy by a kind of weird ideological denial. Frankly, anything you want, you can have if you vote for me. And that's what we're now left with. Executive incompetence and no plan. I'll tell you what, right? I don't want to hear about any more coalition, anti-growth coalitions. We've got one in power, right? What we need now is to... Is, we need another referendum. Do we want to go for economic growth? Or do we want to continue like Another this? referendum? Yeah. What? But what would your question be? Do you want economic Do you want economic growth? growth? Or, what? Or, do, or, do you, or do you want just years of going around in a circle? So, OK, if I say, yeah, I do, I want economic growth, what, and well, what? Well, then we need a government that actually sets that out, because otherwise... So you want a general have... election? No, I want a referendum. Well, here's the problem. If you have a referendum and you win it, you don't elect a government. This is what we discovered mm. with the European Union referendum. Uh, people voted for something, but they did not elect a government which was ready to implement it. And we still haven't actually implemented Absolutely. it in many ways and probably never will for that reason. that you, If you start s switching over from parliamentary democracy to direct democracy, the country becomes ungovernable. I can't see that helping. And, and what, so how, how, can you, how can you possibly devise in a, in a referendum an economic policy that would be workable? I'm not. I'm really just saying, do we still hold on to a British green dream, like the American dream? What is it? Is it about prosperity for wait, all wait, wait, wait. or for most? Or are we actually going down a woke agenda of, right, you know, let's just pretend the NHS is funded, pretend everyone's in it together, right, while we all go down the plug hole, we'll go down the drain, because that's what's happening. I don't want a referendum. I'm merely, you know... But there's not a British dream, is there? You say about an American dream. There's, I mean, Steve, he's one of my first emails in. He feels the country is doomed forever. Well, we do, we've, got, we've got some economic growth. Pawn shops are doing well. Undertakers are doing well. Food banks are doing well. I'm just saying what we need now, yes, we can have a few, a little bit. But first of all, we've got to stop this nonsense. We've got to actually put all the COVID debt into either a bad bank or a war bond. We've then got to have a plan for growth. We've got to have a government that has some uh, ability and, and desire to create growth. We've got to have nuclear... These are the Tories. This is literally their modus operandi.